and I got to know the community very well. Vice President of the Orange Mount Civic Club, even before moving to the neighborhood, Davis also became a member of the Shelby County Democratic Club. The Shelby County Democratic Club, as an organization, uh, participated in all kinds of organizations, uh, uh, elections, for the school board elections, for city elections, for county elections, for all, uh, for the state representatives. Uh, the, the first black state representative since uh, Reconstruction was elected, A.W. Willis, there's a bridge uh, named after him. Um, then later on, H.T. Lockett, who was a lawyer, was uh, elected to the county commission. Uh, gradually, we started making inroads. In 1967, Davis moved to Orange Mound, where he opened the first general agency in the country, owned and operated by an African American. The same year he moved to Orange Mound, Davis was elected to represent District 4 on the Memphis City Council, and on January 1st, 1972, he became the first African American to serve as council chairman. Other members of Orange Mound would follow Davis into public service, each one building on the community's reputation for civic involvement. In 1978, just six years after Davis became council chairman, Harper Brewer was selected as the first African American ever to serve as Speaker Pro Temp of the Tennessee House of Representatives. Our community was recognized when my mother and I were selected for the White House Community Leaders Program. And as a part of that selection, we had an opportunity to speak on behalf of the community, the projects, the people, and the passions. And that was an amazing experience that we had an opportunity to connect with various partners and agencies. The schools and the churches have been the major factors. And then there have been some businesses that have been there forever. Fred Davis has always been in the community, never left. You know, he's. Uh, active in the church as well as his uh, business. There's several meet and threes that have been around there for a while. In true American fashion, the lunch counters of eateries such as the Orange Mound Grill, first opened in 1947, became ad hoc community forums. One such establishment became so associated with public meetings that its owner was given the honorary title, Mayor of Orange Mound. I was participated and a lot of activities, a lot of committees in Orange Mound, you know, what that was going on. And uh, whenever they have the different meetings or we were trying to get something passed or we wanted to go and, and fight for, I used to be there. 